Are you looking for a simple beginner's welding project? Well, I've got just the project for you. It's a simple handrail to go up the stairs. I'm headed over there right now to get the dimensions, pull all the measurements that we need. So why don't you ride along with me this morning? So we're going to install two new handrails. One that goes up right here, and one that goes up the upper set. And it's crucial that we get the right dimensions so that when we get back to the shop, it's easy to get welded so up. So what you want to look for are three basic things. We want to get the run of the stair, the top of the first step, to the top of the bottom step. And we want to get the dimensions where we're going to fasten the rail. And of course we want to get the angle. One of the easiest ways to get the angle is to use just a simple angle finder like I've got here. This is called a true angle. And it's real simple. You just set it in here, line it up with the existing railing and post, and right here it's going to give your, your angle. Now we're pulling our measurement from the top of the top step to the top of the bottom step for our overall length. And then we're going to find our points, center points for each post. Now every set of steps is different. And on this one, the post that we will attach to is not set right at the corner. So after we get our measurement to the top of the step, we want to pull this dimension for how long we've got to run the flat. And it's the same on both of these. So we'll be putting this upper rail over here on the left side. pieces thanks to King Architectural Metals and UPS. All right, let's see what we got here. Now, I just ordered this the other day. It's pretty nice when they can get it to me that quick. Our balloons. We got four of those and our mounting brackets. We've got six of these. And I'll bet we've got two eight foot hand railings right here. What else we got? Oh hey look, we got this new catalog too. Does that look familiar? Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do. Let's take a look at the notes we made the other day. Start marking out the stuff and getting it cut. So we've got our true angle. We'll get it set up for the angles that, uh, that we calculated out the other day. And set up the bandsaw. All right, so we're just taking a minute to get set up here. And put some reference marks on my table. We're gonna go ahead and weld on some of these balloons before we actually make our cuts. Because I pulled my measurements from that point. Alright, when it comes time to weld on these balloons to get them nice and straight, I'm going to use this piece of angle iron on my table. And you can see my railing is just a little bit wider than the actual balloon, so I'm going to use a spacer. Set that up on a spacer. Get it squared up. Turn the railing up on edge. all lined up right here and then we're just going to come in here and tack it before we weld it off. Now let's check it. Make sure they're nice and straight. Alright, so let's weld these up. Okay, here's a real easy way to figure out the angle we want. This is the angle that we pulled that the railing will be going up the stairs and when it hits the top of the stairs it needs to go back to level. So I'm just going to take my level and we're going to mark little ways on both of these and we want to connect this point to this point 
And that'll be the angle that we want to set our bandsaw on. I'm just going to mark this like this. Take All right. Square. Line it up with that. Line it up here. And that's going to be the angle we want. Yep. 15 the degrees. Next thing we're going to do is adjust the uh, bandsaw so that we cut that 15 degrees. Okay, so we want to cut our first one 17 and a the half. The outside of the volute to the long point on the flat. 17 right, and a half. So again, I'm going to use this angle iron. Butt that into our 17 and a half here. Mark it to the long point. Right there. Then it's just a matter of taking this over to the bandsaw, setting it on there, and cut. Yep, it's as easy as that. We'll just uh, do the same thing to these uh, these other ones. Start welding them up. I'm just going to take and use this angle I already threw out on my table. Hold these two pieces in place. Tap it here so I know I've got the right angle. Check it before we weld it off. Really that'll work. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is take our grinder and start cleaning up these welds. Alright, so the next thing we want to focus on are these mounting brackets. If you remember, we've got three of them on each set of railings. We'll start by cutting these down a little bit. We'll have one that's cut square, then the other two will be on the rake. So we're going to go ahead and get those cut too. Stairs are going this way, so we want the left side to be the long side. Sometimes you may have to get a little creative with your, with your saw, get everything to work. Alright, so we've made our mark. We're just gonna hold this in place and tack it. Alright then, we got one down. said he's going to do the installation and actually paint these, so I'm just going to drop them off today. But while we're here, let's make sure they fit right. Alright, so the moment of truth. Looks like that's gonna work. Let's check the bottom. It's a little different. Here we go. You bet. It's gonna work great. Alright then, I appreciate you watching. And remember, if you're anywhere in Colorado Springs or along the front range in Colorado, and you need new hand railings for your deck? Be sure to look me up. Mitchell Dillman at logfurniturehowto.com Thanks again for watching. We'll see you again next week.